Okay, so we have a question being asked, a request for question number nine from summer 2012, April 4, variant 2, question about loci and construction. And in this question, we have been given a diagram of a scale drawing of a park, EFGH. Okay, it's called a lateral shape. The scale is 1 to 10,000 meaning one centimeter on what a length of one centimeter on the drawing on the map is 10,000 times bigger in real life okay a statue is to be placed in the park with the following conditions it must be nearer to g than it is to h nearer to g than it is to h nearer to hg than it is to fg nearer to hg than it is to fg and more than 550 meters away from F, more than 550 meters away from F. Okay, correct, ac sorry, construct accurately the boundaries of the region R in which the statue can be placed. Leave in all your construction arcs and shade the region R. Okay, so now, first of all, nearer to G than H. It's nearer to G than H. So, G is a point which is fixed, H is another point which is fixed. And if it is to be nearer to G than H, okay, nearer to G than to H, then we have to construct what's called the perpendicular bisector of the line GH, because along the perpendicular bisector, all the points are equally distant from G as they are from H. Okay, so we need to construct the perpendicular bisector when you have this type of description here. All right, so we want to find what's nearer to one than the other. So first we've got to find what is exactly halfway between them. Okay, once we find what exactly halfway between them is, then we can um, decide what's nearer. Okay, so we're going to draw or construct the perpendicular bisector of the line GH. I'm going to attempt to do this. I have some of the tools I need up here. This is a compass. Okay, I'm going to take the compass and I'm going to open it up to about three. I'm going to put the point on one side of GH. I'll open up the compass to about three quarters of the length. It should be more than a half, not too, too not too small and not too big. It just about fits in this. Okay, um, make sure the pin exactly is on H. You're going to be more, be more accurate than I am. And I'm also going to do something else. I'm going to make sure that the pen. Okay, I'm going to put it in a slightly different color. I want to make sure that it's very thin. Okay, so I'm going to make thin arcs. Okay, well you, you make sure the pencil is sharp when you do this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make an arc somewhere above the line GH. Some people make an arc all the way down. I don't like to have too many lines around. So I just make an arc somewhere above the middle of GH. Okay, make the, the this, this first two arcs, I make them quite long in case you, know, you miss... And then I'm going to do the same thing below. It doesn't matter if you go over the text. I've actually put the text higher. Okay, I can move my text around. I've done it so we can see the question. I can move it around. So in your diagram, it's going to be an empty space, as you can see. I've actually put this higher so we can see the question. All right. And then you've got to move the pin to the opposite side, which is at G. And you've got to close those arcs. Okay. So now I will close the arc and do the same down here. I will cross the arc and there we have, if I join them together, okay, it is going to be the perpendicular bisector. So it says, all right, so that's fine. It doesn't say you can draw the line inside the region, but of course it's better for you to draw it inside. Now I'm not going to stop. I'm not gonna I'm not what I'm not gonna do is this. I'm not gonna do this and stop at the arc there. Okay, I have to make sure that I, I at least go through the whole shape. Okay? And it's better if you make it slightly thinner, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm gonna make this line a bit thinner. Okay, I'll make it quite thin. Okay, that's the construction. See the thinner it is the more accurate your your drawing is gonna be. I'm going to go exactly through that point, and I want it to go exactly through that point. Okay, that's a perpendicular bisector of HG. So 
every point on this line will be the same distance from H as it is from G. Okay? So that's so now I know if I want to find the region what's nearer to G than H, it's going to be to the right of this line. All that region is nearer to G than H. But that's not the only condition. There are another two conditions, nearer to HG than FG. Nearer to HG than FG. Now, if we look at HG and FG, HG and FG, those are two lines, two straight lines which intersect. Two intersecting straight lines. So what I need to do here is I need to do what's, or construct what's called the angle bisector. I need to cut this angle here in, in half and the line that comes up, the angle bisector, will be the same distance, every point on that line will be the same distance from FG as it is from HG. The perpendicular distance will be the same all the way along that line. So this, this type of um, statement here, nearer to HG than to FG, if those are two lines which intersect, it's the angle bisector of the point where they intersect that you need to find. Okay, the angle at the point where they intersect. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to open up my compass. It doesn't have to be any particular length, just something that's comfortable. Make sure the pin is at the point where the two lines intersect. I'm going to make an arc on one arm and an arc on the other arm. Some people make an arc all the way, it's as you wish. I prefer to do this. Then you move the pin to one of the arcs you made and you make an arc in the region which you think is in the center where the angle bisector will pass through. So I'll make the first one quite long. All right, and then the second one, moving to the other arc you made, the other arm of the angle, you then cross those arcs. And when you join together, when you join together those two, the thin line from the vertex of the angle, from the vertex of the angle, be as accurate as you can, through that point, make sure you go through the whole shape. That is the angle bisector. Now, if you did this properly, this angle should be cut into two equal halves. So the examiner, when he checks your perpendicular bisector, he will check that the distance between where the perpendicular bisector hits the line is the same on both sides. So H to this point and that at that point to G should be equal, it should be cut exactly in half and the angle should be 90 degrees here, that's a perpendicular bisector and here they will check with the protractor to see if the two angles are exactly the same size if this angle has been cut into two equal halves okay now that's the second construction nearer to HG than FG then it says more than 550 meters from F okay now the scale of the drawing is 1 to 10,000 Okay, and of course, 550 meters is the real length. Okay, so we know that the scale of the drawing is 1 to 50,000. Okay, so the scale of the drawing is 1 to, sorry, 10,000. Okay, and we know that in real life, this... Uh, distance has to be from F more than 550 meters from F. So I want to know what 550 meters is. Okay, so I want to work, work out what that's going to be on the map. And it's going to be 550 divided by 10,000. That will tell me the length in meters. Okay, that will be telling me the length in meters. So 550 divided by 10,000. Okay, you're going to move the decimal point back one, two, just do it like this, 550 divided by 10,000 okay that's 10,000 that gives you 0 0.055 0 0.055 so x the distance we need is 0 0.055 but that's meters that's in meters of course we're going to measure in centimeters on this so we're going to have x is going to be if you multiply by 100 that will give you the distance in centimeters so it's going to be 5.5 .5 centimeters so we need to measure a distance of 5.5 .5 centimeters now um, as I as you know your scale on your drawings depends on the photocopying and stuff so most of the drawings that you'll have are not probably the right scale but we'll just go by what we got I measured um, I asked one of the students to measure the distance between EH on their drawing and I made it the same according to this ruler Okay, three centimeters EH. So now I'm going to uh, put the 
I'm going to open up the compass to 5.5 centimeters. 5.5 centimeters, that's zero. 5.5 is over there. Okay, that's just about 5.5 centimeters. Now, it says more than 550 meters from F. That means on the, on the drawing, more than 5.5 centimeters from F. So we've got to put the pin on F. Got to put the pin on F. Okay. And yeah, just about there. Okay. And then inside the shape, I'm going to make an arc. Now that distance is 5.5 centimeters, right? And it's more than 5.5 meters from a particular point F. So it's going to be like an arc. Everywhere on this arc is going to be exactly. Let me make it the same color again. Everywhere along this arc is going to be exactly 5.5 centimeters from F. Okay? Understand? Okay. So now we have done the three constructions. We've got nearer to G than H. Well, we've got equidistant between G and H. We've got equidistant between H, G and F, G. And we've got exactly 550 meters from F. Now we have to work out what the region is, okay, and shade it. Okay, so it says nearer to G than H. That means, if it says nearer to G than H, let me move this up a bit, let's see. Okay, nearer to G than H. Okay, it means it's to the right of this perpendicular bisector. Okay, so it's somewhere in the region. Just get a different color to shade. Okay, so nearer to G than H, so it's to the right of this line. That's nearer to G than H. But it also has to be nearer to HG than FG. So it has to be underneath this. It has to be closer to HD than it is to FG. I remember F is up there somewhere. That's F, right? So it's going to be somewhere so far in this region here. Right? Then it says more than 550 meters from F, so it has to be outside of this arc. So it's going to be this region over here. This is the region where the statue is to be placed. Okay, so it's best to mark that place as R. A bit thick, but anyway. All right, so that's how you deal with a question such as this. Okay, so there's three constructions. One of them was an arc, more than 550 meters from a point. One of them was an angle bisector, which is nearer to a straight line, okay, compared to another straight line when those two lines intersect. And the other one was the perpendicular bisector nearer to a point to another point. Okay? And that's the answer. Okay, that's the whole thing. All right.